Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and this is a vehicle that I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for and asking for for a really long time because it is a console-friendly 04 Toyota Tacoma. Now, obviously, the console-friendly version of this truck is not called the Toyota Tacoma, but I'll be leaving a link to this truck in the description box down below to where you guys can check it out. And if you're on PC, the creator of this mod also offers a basically an add-on pack to this mod that allows you to have the emblems. So with that being said, Let's get this into the garage, customize it, and then get it out on the trails. Normally, I would take it to, like, the summer testing grounds, but today, I took it out to Mirror Lake because I really wanted to put this thing through some realistic trail riding to see what it could really do. So let's not smash into a semi-trailer. All right. Now, since this thing is very realism-based, that's what I'm going to be basing the upgrades off of. So what we'll do is we'll probably do... We'll pro well... See, I say that, and then I realize that there is an OP engine and in there, but that one's probably what you would use if you were going to take this thing to, like, a racetrack, like stadium super trucks or something like that. So we'll do the 3.1 liter big block. Now, let's see. Gearbox-wise, we start off with an off-road, and then a tuned, and then an upgraded. Now, this is technically the OP gearbox, but it's basically only OP because it has an additional overdrive as well as low plus and low minus. So, OP in this sense basically just means it's got slightly different ratios at the top end, and it's also still going to give you access to all the low ranges. So, I don't feel too bad about going with that in terms of realism. Now, suspension-wise, you have tuned, tuned lifted, and heavy hauling. Now, active rear lift recommended for gooseneck trailers. You can do a gooseneck tra- Like, you could haul a gooseneck with this thing. That's really funny. Like, that's kind of hilarious, to be honest. Yo, you can even put, like, a 45-inch monster tire on it. That's great. And if you want to take this thing into the snow and ice, you also have studded and chained ice tires, or snow and ice tires, if that route is a route you want to go. So, let's see what kind of- I really want to use- Oh man, I don't even know. I think I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna do the 40 uh 41 inch swampers. They look really good. Now let's do the heavy duty winch. And let's see. I'm thinking tall snorkel. That seems to be like seems to make the most sense. And then I think I'll definitely throw some sp uh some spares and supplies in the bed. Now, rear bumper wise, we've got a factory bumper, we got a steel bumper, and we've got a heavy duty bumper. I'm gonna do the steel bumper. And then, let's say you can do a flasher bar and roof fogs if you want, or you can do the LED fog lights, which are rank locked at level 16. I'm actually going to leave it, like, just completely chill up top. Now, on the front bumper, I'm going to do this really nice stinger bumper. I think that looks really, really good. Now, if you want a bug deflector, you can do that, but I'm also... Oh, whoa! So you have a factory hood, you have a carbon fiber hood, and you have a anime-themed hood. And that's actually, that's really interesting. I wonder if there's a whole nother design to go with that. Because I, at this point, I haven't looked through the paint options for this truck just yet. So let's do the carbon hood for now. And yo, what? Energy drink? Oh my god, they called it. Yep, they, they, what? Yep, they called it that. <laughs> they absolutely called it that. Wow. All right, CB antenna going on the back, light bar on the bumper. Floor mats. Oh, apparently you can have anime floor mats if you would like. Um, I mean, the funny thing about this is that you're, like, never going to be looking at the floor mats, but the fact that they're there anyway is absolutely hilarious. Now, let's see. Uh, tailgate logo for the Tanjiro 4x4. Um, you know what? Why not with, like, the anime floor mats? Because they're, like, they're neat and they're just there. Now, let's see. Exhaust option-wise, you've got a side exit single tip here. You've got a dual, uh, dual tip side exit. You've also got a another dual tip side exit. Oh, heavy smoke or light smoke. And then a rear exit as well. I think I'm just going to do, uh, I'm going to keep it simple. And I'm going to do, we'll do the two tip with light smoke. And then wheels wise, you got the outlaw two, you got the five spoke, and then you got the steelies. I'm going to do the five spoke. I think they look really good. And yo, you could do, done deal. Classic TRD themed. Oh yeah, that looks amazing. Now, as far as the other colors go though, you have a really wide range of colors you can choose for this truck, and they're all really well done. I mean, the texturing is really nice. They've got a little bit of a weathered look to them, sure, but all the colors themselves are very bright, very vibrant, and they all look really, really good. Now, we'll definitely be throwing beans up there on the dash, and now it's time to get this thing out on the trail and see what it's like. And don't worry, we're absolutely going to be doing this in a much more 
realism-focused way than some of my other... Well, I would say anytime we're on the map Mirror Lake, we're usually driving in a more realistic sense anyway. But, I mean, sometimes, you know, sometimes I definitely run into kind of situations where uh, people are kind of under the impression that, like, I only drive, like, ab like an absolute maniac and just, like, rocket up absolutely everything. And while I definitely do that sometimes, when I'm testing out a realistic vehicle, I definitely like to approach the test drive from a very realistic standpoint. Now, obviously, right here on the road, maybe not so much, because I'm just kind of finding my way down to where the trail starts, but once we get on the trail, that'll be a nice time to really dial up that realism factor. So let's see, there is a trail right here, but I don't know if, if it's the trail we want to start with. There's another trail down here that has a really, really nice... Yep, I see it right there, actually. There's a trail down here that has a really nice initial obstacle that really sets the tone for the rest of the trail, and so that's why we're going to use it. So let's go ahead and pull you on in. God, that is a really tight left. Hang on. All right. Now, all-wheel drive is... Oh, wow. I didn't realize diff lock was always on. So let's start in low, standard low, and see how we do. And give it a little bit more wheel speed. All right. Yep, we're going to need to redo the line. That is not the line, I'll tell you that. Come on. Maybe give her a little bit of momentum. Just a little bit. There we go. If I can just get the front axle to sit up on top of that rock ledge, I will be golden. Well, maybe not, because that shoved me to the left. Oh, there we go. Let's find a spot for that front axle to grab. And that, yup. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, dude. It almost had it there. It almost had it. This is like properly realistic, actually. It almost had it. All right, I'll tell you what. I'm going to give it a tiny little winch pull, and that should... Yep, that sorts it out, no problem at all. Now, the flex, though, is actually really good, considering the fact that this is a realistically designed, like, leaf-sprung truck. It's still got a good amount of flex to it. The camera positioning is a little odd, and I keep finding that I have to adjust the camera more than I would like. And I don't know if that's just the actual, like, origin point of the camera is placed in an odd spot, or what that's all about, but... It's a little bit strange when you're going up some hills. Not all hills, but definitely some of them. So let's... Whoa! I forgot how nasty that drop was. That drop is pretty nuts. Oh, God. Hang on. Let me back her up real quick. Whoa! Ease it on around nice and easy. There it is. Not bad. You know, I've got to admit, like, this thing really does a good job of just kind of like lumbering its way through the trail in a really realistic way but then when you get into a situation like that it's not like you could just like keep the throttle down and keep going you have to kind of like think about it and reassess what you're doing because that right there is a scenario where if you just stuck with the line i originally had in real life you'd be tumbling over the edge of the cliff and that would be the end of that now if you like whoa Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I completely forgot there was a drop there, and I just got, in, like, entirely way too comfortable, and just went for it. Which is never what you want to do on a trail that is not familiar to you. Good grief! Yeah, no, I literally had no idea that that drop was there. This map, while it appears very simple on video, will absolutely keep you on your toes. Because if you get, like too comfortable for a second you will find a spot like that one that will do you in and literally flip you over and have you on your lid i mean it's literally what this map was actually legitimately designed to do so as we continue on down the trail i could definitely definitely tell that this was designed around that aspect of challenging realistic trail riding and if that is the experience you're looking for or if you're just looking for a well-put-together Toyota mod that is going to be available on, well, consoles as soon as it gets approved, and of course is also available on PC with, you know, with brand logos, dude, I mean, this is an amazing representation of what a well-put-together, realistic little Toyota trail rig is actually good at and can actually do. And I love the fact that it's got a classic TRD livery. That's one of the best parts. Now let's ease you down this notch real quick. This is definitely one of those rigs, though, that you could get, like, a group of friends together, go on a trail ride, and just, like, essentially not even think about time. 
I mean, when you drive this thing in a slow and deliberate way, it's definitely one of those vehicles where SnowRunner starts to take on a little bit more of a, you know, off-road trailing simulator. Now, I'm sure that, oh, I did not mean to do that. Now, I'm sure people that, you know, people that play Beam and G Drive a lot might disagree with me on that, and they'll say, this isn't a simulator in the least, Beam is a simulator, and I get that, but at the same time, there are definitely still some realistic experiences that you can find in SnowRunner, even when it comes to trail riding, when you combine a vehicle like this with a map like Mirror Lake. M Mirror Lake is one of the most realistic trail riding maps that has ever been in the game, and if you don't have this map, and you're into just off-roading in general, you absolutely should check it out. So let's not fall in the drink. All right. Oh, we dipped a tire. Come on. Oh, dude, I don't know if we're going to have the... Holy smokes. Oh, my God. Wow. Using reverse there and then also, like, a little bit of that winch cable grab is definitely what saved me from a bad rollover. And that's literally that scenario right there that you just witnessed. There are so many real life rollovers that happen because of that exact scenario. And now I'm trapped in a really awkward spot. All right, back it up. Now, it doesn't look like low plus is gonna be enough to get up that hill, so I'm gonna bump it. See if I can get, there we go, get the torque. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's digging. I mean, we got the, oh man, we threw mud everywhere, but still, no, like, no, 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 oh, my rear axle is in the drink, oh boy, see, this right here that we're dealing with is that realistic trail riding element that is definitely prevalent with a truck like this, oh, is that too many beans, I think that was too many beans, god, this obstacle is legitimately tough for this truck, and I think rightfully so, because obstacles like this are also really tough in real life. All right, I'm going to aim a little bit more to the right this time, and I'm going to bump it and see what we can get. Oh, nope, that, nope, stalled it out, or about stalled it out anyway. Aim a little bit more to the right, and then a little bit back to the left. See, that's just too much spin. Okay, so we don't have enough wheel speed in low plus. But in high, we have too much wheel speed, and we've run it up the obstacle so much that, like, it's just mad at us now. Actually, this might be, this might be the ticket. Hold on. There it is. Oh, that's not, no. Nope. Well, maybe. Yup, there it is. All we needed was a slightly different line, and boom, we got it. But that's it. That's what I love about this map, and of course about this truck, is that that obstacle right back there just shows that no matter what kind of approach that obstacle has, this truck, like, it will be a challenge, but it can do it. And that's where that realism aspect comes back into play. And I also think, you know, as you can see, it's got good flex, but it's not, you know, super crazy, over-the-top, unrealistic amounts of flex. I mean, this has the level of flex that you would expect out of a leaf sprung rig with no sway bars. And that's exactly what it should have in a realistic sense. Let's ease it down the rest of this hill. Whoa. Come on. That front end is going to drop pretty heavily right... Yo, that is a amazing photo, dude. That right there. Okay. I love that. I'm taking that. I saw, like, what that might look like, like, in my mind, right as I was dropping off that ledge, and I was like, I need to get a photo of that. That is absolutely beautiful, and I need to get a photo of that. Now, before we end this drive, I want to see if it can make it up this little notch. It's not all that crazy, but I think it can do it. What well, terrible approach line, but... Oh my god, yeah, wow, that was one of the worst approach lines I think I could have actually ever taken for that. Alright, reset, come on. You gotta have a decent line, but you also gotta charge at it. Man, this is, this is tough. This is really, really tough. Try to split the difference between both sides. There it is. Do not give up on the throttle. Boom, there it is. There it freaking is. Dude, I love this truck, but even more so than that, I love this map. But if you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed this look at this truck, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys next time. Talk to y'all later.